Welcome back friends to Top 10 Nerd, I'm your host Johnny Rogers. Before we kick this video off, hit that thumbs up button and leave us a comment down below with what your favorite Infinity Warp combination is. When Gamora collected the Infinity Stones, it gave her power beyond belief. To prevent anyone from stopping her, she decided to fold the universe in half, which created brand new combinations of heroes and villains that left them completely unaware of their warped origins. Also if you haven't read the Infinity Warps comic books yet, there will probably be spoilers. Nope, there will be spoilers. You haven't warned. Now let's get to today's list of the top 10 Iron Hammer shocking facts. Number 10, Amnesia. Naturally when the warp happened and the heroes lives intertwined with one another, they had no knowledge of their previous life. In the first issue of the Iron Hammer comics, we see him sitting alone in an ice bar and everyone there seems to know exactly who he is. They refer to him as Sigurd Stark, the billionaire technologist, the fifth richest man in Europe and the third best looking. Ouch. After he overhears these people, we see him breaking a glass that turns out to be just ice. Still cool. And then wander into a heavy snowstorm after leaving the bar. That's where we see Sigurd Stark having a bit of an identity crisis. The snow, the wind, and the lightning in the storm oddly comfort him, to which he says feels like home. That's when he remembers walking out of a similar storm five years ago with a blank memory, and yet having so much knowledge of technology. Number 9, Science Meets Magic. Iron Hammer's suit when forged in a cave very similar to that of the Iron Man storyline shows his cellmate aka the Dwarf King known as Eatry who you'll remember from the MCU. Sigurd Stark was struck by a poisonous arrow when the Dark Elves found him wandering in the forest. The longer that he waits the closer the poison is to reaching his heart and ultimately killing him. Once in the cave he uses his advanced knowledge of technology to work alongside Eatry to forge armor. However even the weapon specialist is awestruck by the designs that Iron Hammer comes up with. He says they seem to be a combination of Midgard science and that of the other realms. Which means that Iron Hammer has his own unique version of science that is combined with the magic from other realms like Asgard. Number 8 New Villains as I mentioned in the intro, it wasn't just the heroes that were warped by Gamora, it was also the villains. And in the Iron Hammer comics, we see the frightening combinations of the Mandarin meets Malkit, and Loki merging with Obadiah Stane. While Stane Odinson is just a mortal who was raised by Howard Odin, he enlists the help of Mandarin Malkit to lure Sigurd to his ultimate demise. Number 7, 10 Rings to Rule Them All In the Iron Hammer comics, we get a reintroduction to the power of the 10 rings. And in the comic books, the Mandarin is a madman living in a secret castle lair deep within communist China. It is there where he holds immense power that is granted to him by his 10 power rings. This comic book shows the amalgamation of that character known as the Mandarin Malkith also in the possession of the 10 power rings. Except each ring is a representation of the power in the separate realms. Number 6 Jarvis 2.0 Iron Man's suit is equipped with Jarvis which stands for just a rather very intelligent system. The user interface computer system which was named after Edwin Jarvis who worked for Howard Stark is the artificial intelligence that Tony depends on for assistance. Iron Hammer is no different. Except the shocking thing here is that Jarvis was combined with Hemdall, the all seeing and all hearing as guardian and former guard of the Bifrost Bridge. When Sigurd becomes Iron Hammer, his AI system turns on and refers to itself as the heuristic enhanced imaging macro digital awareness for logic and logistics, aka Hemdall. Number 5, New Life, New Name. When Sigurd travels across the Rainbow Bridge, he begins to recall his past life memories, which included the moment when he was cast out by his father, Howard Odin. The comics reveal that his true identity warp name is Stark Odinson, and when he was cast out of Asgard for attacking his brother, he was sent to Earth where he took on the name Sigurd. Number 4, Bifrost Abilities The Bifrost Bridge is a dimensional energy that allows instant travel to any planet the traveler so chooses, and obviously one that Hemdall allows. With Hemdall now being part of the Iron Hammer suit, we see an incredible moment where Sigurd Stark is deep in a Norwegian forest after escaping from the Dark Elves and it is there where he ponders a way to reach Asgard. He seems defeated by this because doing so would mean being able to breach the walls of reality itself. Except when he says the words bridging interdimensional frequency rotating outside space time, Hemdall chimes in and says understood. Then a colorful beam of light radiates from Iron Hammer's chest and opens up the bi 
permafrost for Sigurd to travel through. Number three, the origin of armor. In the original story of Thor, he is cast from Asgard to Earth, where he is drawn to the power of his hammer to reinstate him as Thor, the god of thunder. However, in the Infinity Warp, the hammer bears little significance to the actual armor itself. It appears as though the armor of a true warrior has taken front and center as the goal for a once immature demigod. Even when he forges the armor while being held captive, its powers is a combination of Asgardian and Midgard science. Number two, a mortal man. At the very end of the second book for the Iron Hammer series, when he returns to Asgard, he actually denies his right for immortality. He has stared death in the face and now understands that immortality only made him grow sour and vain in its endless cocoon. He chooses to remain immortal because the reminder of death humbles him in knowing that he is alive. Number one, Kiss of Death. This is odd and shocking all in one. Once Seagard or Stark Odinson, however you want to refer to him, faces the Kiss of Death, he actually kisses death. It's a very symbolic scene of his killing off of his past life as an immortal. The comic book does this brilliantly by saying Stark Odinson dies today and in his place walks a man named Seagard Stark, who courts death and tastes life. It's a great message, but really shocking to see Seagard making out with what is essentially half of Hela combined with Madame Mask. And with that, let's get to some of your featured comments from the video titled Top 10 Characters That Can Beat Thanos With The Infinity Gauntlet. And let us know down in the comments which fact about Iron Hammer you found to be the most shocking. Maybe it'll get featured next. Kurt05 says, if Shrek isn't in this list, I'm out. I would love to see Shrek versus Thanos, but I don't think it'll ever happen. Maybe in Shrek 6? What, which one are we on now? Dan Maloney says, Anyone outside of Thanos' universe could beat him because the Infinity Gauntlet and Stones only work in their universe of origin. How about those in the Marvel Universe that could beat him, please? Good idea for a video and I'll talk to the bigwigs. B. Williams says, You mean Dark Side, not Dark Seed. My bad, man, you guys need to loosen up a little bit. I'm not a nerd encyclopedia. Now I know, now I know, so thank you. Wouter Lansdahl says, you pronounce it as dark said, not seed. Well, now you guys need to get your facts straight. This is the Mario debacle all over again. I believe that it's dark side. Dark side. Let's go with that. And that has been the top 10 Iron Hammer shocking facts. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, share it with your friends. And if you happen to be new here, make sure you subscribe before you leave. And if you want more videos like this one, click that playlist on the screen. From Top 10 Nerd, I'm Johnny Rogers. And until next time, take care.